up in North Bay, where the avocados grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see some trout, knock battalion out, down by the bay? All right, we're here. Game five. We're tied at two. This is a crucial one. Let's get it. We saw back home most of the snow was gone, but up here, uh, you know, it's three hours north. Uh, a lot of it is still here. You know, I've always wanted to like walk through this park and you know, just, you know, see what's over there, that kind of thing. But I'm a little too big of a wet sock baby, so uh, I don't know. Not today. Just taking a walk on my way to get some food. I love little pieces of symbolism like this. Optometry with the oversized E, like on an eye chart. It's the little things that impress me like that. I don't know why, it just does. You know, I'm almost used to this drive to North Bay now. I think I could probably do it without directions. So, you know, I've been doing it, you know, this is my third time in two weeks, so getting used to it. Uh, but anyway, there were five games in the OHL last night, uh, including two at the end of the series. Uh, the London Knights beat the Owen Sound Attack by a score of five nothing. So they sweep them and move on to the second round. Also moving on to the second round with a 5-1 win over the Windsor Spitfires. The Kitchener Rangers complete the unlikely sweep. They are the first eight seed to sweep a one seed in OHL history. So because London and Kitchener will be the highest and lowest remaining seeds in the Western Conference, they will face each other in the second round. Uh, Sarnia also could have swept Guelph, but Guelph stayed alive with a 5-4 win. So Sarnia is up 3-1 in that series. Ottawa all over Oshawa with a 9-0 victory in Game 4, so they are up 3-1 in their series. And with Barry uh, winning 4-1 over Hamilton, capped by an empty netter by goalie Anson Thornton. Uh, they, Barry wins 4-1, and they are up 3-2 on Hamilton. In addition to our game tonight, there are two others going in the OHL. Flint at Saginaw Game 5. Saginaw leads that series three games to one. Also Guelph at Sarnia Game 5, which Sarnia leads three games to one. So both of those series could end tonight. Also possibly ending tonight is our Gatineau series. Gatineau is playing Game 5 tonight in St. John. They lead the series three to one. So Gatineau could potentially wrap that up tonight. If they don't, Game 6 and 7 are back in Gatineau. So I like our chances still. No sign of the bus again, but there are a couple of battalion players working out up there. <laughs> the players are here though. Uh, when I came back to get my dinner, I saw like Benny and Struthers and uh, Eggleton going to get their dinner. So uh, uh, they are here. So uh, I don't know where the bus is. Maybe it's gassing up again. Uh, maybe it's the thing they do when they get here. But uh, yeah, almost going inside. So again, we'll probably see the bus uh, when I come out. Back in the same spot again, pretty early. I think the guys are still uh, playing the game of ball here. Uh, but yeah, they actually turned the lights on in here for once. It doesn't uh, feel like a cave. But yeah, we're here. Game five is almost upon us. I can't even lift my foot that high anymore. The things these guys do to make me feel old. Battalion warming up over there in the distance. You think anything could happen if I went over there? Oh no, that steelhead fan touched our ball. Now we're gonna forget how to play hockey. Oh yeah, there's that dark arena we know and love. Or love, you know. You got the idea. Sing to me while I get food.
one nothing Battalion, uh, six two are the shots for North Bay. Uh, we actually had another goal saved by Charlie Callahan. Uh, we were on another penalty kill where I was the team call. So it was served by Misa. But uh, Callahan blocked a shot. He was in some pain. Uh, he didn't leave, but you know, he's still hurting. I can notice. But, uh, still one nothing, and uh, yeah. One now, uh, still one nothing. Uh, shots started off slow for us, but uh, have picked up. Uh, we're still behind 13-10 on the shots. Uh, we do have a minute two remaining on a power play. Paul Kristopoulos took a holding call. Let's capitalize on that in the second. That is still not a parking spot. I met some viewers. How you doing? Yeah, good, good. What are your names? Yeah. Okay. Good to meet you guys. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Angus being a TV star. Love to see it. It is nuts in here. Granted, this is a very small building and a big crowd, you know, makes you feel even smaller. But, uh, you know, North Bay is not known for their big crowds either, but uh, it goes to show you when you put effort into trying to sell tickets, you can sell tickets. Just saying.
all the other series need to be played because they reseed within the conference just like they do here. Uh, but uh, they've moved on. Uh, I don't know if it's Ruin Miranda because that's the team I saw in February. Uh, I don't know if I'd make a special trip to go see that team again. Uh, but if the Steelheads happen to be in Ottawa around the same time, then we think about it. But uh, Steelheads have to get there first. Third period, got caught in the bathroom, but here they are coming back from the third. Let's get it! Also, we have an Alessio Bellieri sighting into the third period. Leader sits for the rest of the day. See if I can spark us. Josh Bloom is added to the North Bay Tally. Just uh, 2 0 2 into the third. Make it 5 0 now. Not much to say. Yeah, that's how the game's going. You know what? They've just gone to review. This one might be offside, so maybe it's still 4 0. Shortly. Never mind, they called the goal. I watched the replay, I thought it was offside, but I'm not a rep. Or lineman or I don't know. I thought it was offside, they did. <laughs> time for the mid-third period breaks, but Romani and Martone are wrestling in the corner. Not the best game for the Steelheads. The shots were actually pretty even. Uh, North Bay just led them by one, 37-36, uh, I believe the final total was. Uh, gotta credit the crowd, they brought it today. Uh, felt like uh, such a big crowd in such a small space should have been a fire code violation or something. But uh, I'll go see the guys. I'm not sure what kind of spirits they'll be in, so post game might be short, we'll see. Uh, but uh, I will see them off. I guess this might be my job again. <laughs> That's yeah. Good night. See you boys.
Now before I get into the ending stuff, uh, you guys may be wondering why I still wait for the bus even when I know that the conversation is probably gonna be brief. And the reason is this, consistency. It's like, I don't want them to think I'm treating them differently just because they're losing. Like, I treat them the same whether they win, whether they lose, whether they're a first liner, whether they're a fourth liner, whether they're a healthy scratch. Like, you know, they're athletes, but they're humans first. And, you know, I just want them to know that just because the result might not have been what I wanted, and tonight, well, it wasn't. Uh, the Steelheads got shut out for the fourth time this season, the second time by Dom DiVicentis. Uh, but uh, it doesn't make them different humans in my eyes. So I just want to keep that consistency going and, you know, make sure that, you know, I'm not that disappointed in them. Like, I don't think less of them as people uh, because they lost. So, uh, yeah, that's why I do that. So quickly before I go, the other scores from today, Flint beat Saginaw 5-2, so they stay alive in their series. Uh, Saginaw still leads that series 3-2. And also staying alive, the Guelph Storm, who beat the Sarnia Sting 3-1 tonight. Uh, so Sarnia is up in their series, three games to two. Also, I did tell you about the Gatineau Olympic moving on, but I do know now that uh, all the Q games are done. Remember, Gatineau's game finished first because they were playing in Atlantic time. Uh, now that all the Q games are done, I do know that Gatineau's second round opponent will be the Rouen Aranda Huskies, the same team that I saw them play in February. So I don't know, again, if I'll make a special trip to see them play Rouen Aranda because I already saw them th do that this year. Uh, but again, if the Steelheads happen to be in Ottawa, and again, they have to win the next two games to make it to Ottawa. Um, but uh, we'll see if that happens. Once again, I end by asking the OHL and CHL, please allow the fair use of your professional and amateur footage. Help the small media so they can help you. Until next time, you can find me behind the bench and only the bench. This is Jordan signing off. Until Sunday, guys, let's hope it's not the last one. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.